Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Here's your daily stimulus check and second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. I hope uh, you may need an adult, adult beverage after hearing this stuff, but uh, for the latest and greatest information on how to master and dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Hit the bell notification so that you'll get notified, subscribe, and please like this. It's like it helps the algorithm. It really means a lot to me too. If you just turn that gray button to blue, boy, does it make a difference. And also grab down below two free stocks with Weeble. You open up an account, there's no catch. I don't do catches on this channel, so don't feel like you're gonna be hustled out of money ever, right? So hit that, grab a couple of free stocks, one stock up to $1,400 you get to just for opening an account. <sighs> Wow, 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 that, wow. I don't, I don't know, I, I don't even know what to say, right? I feel like I'm maybe back at the house and somebody had too much to drink, only there's the whole family there messed up. You're not gonna believe what happened during yesterday's GOP family meeting. Okay, they're not a family, but oh my God. Find out why yesterday's closed door stimulus package meeting between Republicans turned in the airing of just grievances and shout, a shouting match with some senators storming out early. Nobody hit anybody that I know of, but find out in this video what went on. But first, there's always a first, right? You gotta start with a first. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has officially stepped into the ring and has made his official endorsement of another round of stimulus checks. Thank you, Mitch, appreciate it. Like, duh, man. Speaking on the Senate floor yesterday, McConnell stated, and I'll quote this, we want another round of direct payments, direct payments to help American families keep driving our nation come back so funny you know they're all on vacation they come back for a couple of days and they're like heroes but they've been gone for three weeks i'm still a little mad about that but anyways i'm airing my grievances too y'all don't work enough if i was there i'd be working every day you know how i work you tune into my channel come on y'all could be doing a lot more the kentucky senator not only offered his support for more stimulus checks but he also provided more information on the status of the upcoming phase four stimulus package. Well, finally, in all this closed door stuff that he's been doing, it's crazy. McConnell explained, and I quote this, this is his quote, I'm going to introduce a bill in the next few days that is the starting place. <laughs> okay. That enjoyed fairly significant support among Republican senators, probably not everybody, I think he's talking about like two senators that they were in closed doors like, hey guys, the two of us, yeah, we agree, right? There's like uh, about 50 other ones we haven't talked to yet, but uh, when we tell them, they'll be excited about the bill. Not. These statements are quite a different tune than the Senate Republicans were humming just a month ago. You remember a month ago when we've been doing these videos when they were not in favor of more stimulus checks on the phase four disaster relief bill? Remember when I talked to, oh yeah, jobs will come back, everything's gonna be fine, V-shaped recovery, no problem, you guys, you guys got this, we're going on vacation in a week, yeah. Now look at us. I'm glad that they finally appear to be on board and maybe there's a little bit of freaking sanity out there and they're actively finally negotiating this much needed stimulus package right how are you doing at home like in a week from now we're cut off right like what are you guys doing you're gonna leave us in the in the, the dark this long it's crazy now i've got a confession to make and i will tell you usually i have three stories you know i, I look through Probably it's got to be 50 to 100 stories, which is like insane every day. So you don't have to because there's so much garbage out there. You're like, uh, and then at the end of it, you just you just want to just bleed out. It's bad, right? And then finally, there's a couple stories that surface to the top and you go, okay, these I can cover. 
They, they're legitimate. I have quotes. I've got real authorities behind it. It's a trusted source. And then I give you the sources in the video down below so you can say Andrew's not completely crazy. It's not coming just from thin air. He did the work. Usually I have three stories to talk about, bottom line. But the chaos during yesterday's closed door GOP meeting deserves a deeper look that I'm going to take on this fascinating topic because it's just absolutely insane. Yesterday, I uh, saw a meeting between the Republican senators and the White House officials. This was nuts. Such as Treasury Secretary, cool-headed, cool man with the, with the, I mean, you know, Mr. Cool, the guy been saying, I like this guy. He's, he's come, you know, Steve Mnuchin. And the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, who's popped his head up right now, uh, where, you know, Trump probably said, hey, go out there and figure out what the hell is going on because I want to get reelected. And uh, I don't want to say something that's going to not get me reelected other than something really crazy that'll scare people into paying attention to me. I don't know. I'm just saying it's marketing. Watch. Uh, I got to get stoned. You'll see how politics is just absolutely nuts. What they do to us to get us to watch them is ridiculous. The meeting was supposed to begin talks with the upcoming stimulus package, right? But quickly, it devolved, it reduced down to, it turned into complete madness as Republicans took turns venting with each other instead of discussing a new legislation. Yeah, they just, hey, why don't, rather than trying to fix this, let's just throw food at each other or stones or whatever. Hey guys, you're in a glass house, you know that, right? Please don't throw stones because we're the ones that have to fix the windows while you guys throw temper tantrums. Like, God, really? Senator Roy Blunt said it best. About 15 different members wanted to make a point, and they made them. <laughs> Which means they're all on different pages, right? Like, nobody's on the same page. Like, how many things is there to really argue about, folks? Uh, we need a stimulus check, duh, because we haven't had one in four months. Uh, we need unemployment because the job, pl the places are still closed down, duh. And a lot of companies only have a 25% demand for jobs coming back. 32% of people haven't paid their like rent. I mean, serious guys. Un and then you're gonna leave us hanging, and some of the unemployment is gonna go down to 250 bucks. What? I, what? How could you have 15 items? I, I don't even understand it. Senator Roy Blunt said it best about 15 different members. That's what he said, right? 15 people, just like all different pages, right? Completely nuts. Are there 15 things really? Like health care, but I mean, it's pretty basic. It's the same stuff that's in the Heroes Act. This fiasco of the meeting includes yelling amongst mem member parties. Yes, people in their own hood, their own family, their own group, their own party doesn't get along. Can you imagine being a Democrat in the Senate going, oh my God, these Republicans, if we could just, if we could just get them like a chill pill for a minute, right? Wouldn't that be great? And again, on this channel, we hate them all. We hate them all equally. They all, they all mess with us and take from us. They're, they all suck. They just suck differently, right? Like we've talked about. The divided opinion on the upcoming stimulus package and even one senator running out the door. Can you imagine a senator that gets a $3 million budget a year, he gets 193,000 and then they're on vacation every five minutes, runs out the door pissed off. You know what I miss in the old days? The beginning of, of like how our country was set up, these folks would sit and yell in front of everybody at each other, like just this crazy process. And then they'd go have a beer and hang out like, you know, but they got everything out in the open. Maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe at the end of the day, this craziness is going to serve us better. I don't know at this point how that's going to happen. Senator Ted Cruz offered his disdain for the phase four stimulus relief bill, stating simply, and here's his quote, what the hell is going on? Can you see what the hell is going on? Like that, that's probably what I'd say. But dude, what, what, what? This is pretty simple. You know, it's pretty simple. Like, there's a big hole here. We need to fill it. Duh. Other controversial topics in the meeting include the debates around funds for testing, right? And the payroll tax cut in the next stimulus package. Of course, nobody wants to test because that might mean we'd have more cases, 
more cases means it looks like we're going backwards. So why don't we just not test? Let's just let's just pretend like that thing out there doesn't exist. Let's 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 just pretend, right? Uh, and tell people to wear a face mask, and that way we don't have to report it. We'll do a China thing, right? Where in China they just there's all of a sudden everything's fixed overnight. Wow, they contained it. It's no problem, right? You believe that? Discussing his confusion over the White House wanting to omit funds for testing. Duh, I've been telling you this, right? Trump doesn't want, he doesn't want those numbers to go up because everybody's blaming him for that. Every time a, somebody tests positive, it's like, you know, a chip off of Trump's armor, right? Somehow he's responsible for that. I, I don't understand how that's possible. But hey, that's kind of public, you know, how it is. You know, that's kind of how we roll. Senator Bill Casey told his fellow senators that when he heard the news, he felt like he was on acid. I think even, don't you feel like, like we need a beverage after this or maybe watching the, it's just crazy. Senator John uh, Thun expressed his confusion over the payroll tax cuts, explaining, if it's a choice between doing checks and payroll cuts, I think it's pretty clear Checks actually have more direct benefit to the economy. Duh, right? Would you rather say get a savings that you may or may not see or just get a simple check up front? I say, let's get the check. And then we'll talk about the cuts later because most of the time these cuts, we, we look and we're like, we don't even see them. And finally, before the meeting could commence, Senator Rand Paul, yes, Rand Paul, stormed out of the lunch abruptly right? They don't even have, pol they're not even polite. They don't even have manners, right? I wonder, did he finish his food? Did he thank the person who cooked it? Like, that's pretty rude. He didn't go back for seconds, obviously, which would have had the chef feel so good. I always do seconds, especially if mom cooked. If your mother cook, if your mom cooks, go back for seconds, even if you're full. Simple hint, if you want to keep your mama happy, go back for seconds. Worried that another stimulus package could mean a Joe Biden victory in November, Paul called the meeting an uh, assembly of Bernie bros before hitting the exit. I guess, I, you know, it's like his grenade just dropping the room. Peace, I'm out. If this is only day two of the talks for another stimulus package, I need to buy more popcorn and I don't have enough Liquor in the liquor cabinet to get through this. I can only imagine how crazy things are going to be when we get closer to July 31st, that enhanced unemployment benefit. And no, I can't drink. I'm training for an Ironman and running like crazy. So unfortunately, I don't get the luxury of drinking right now because I'm in training for an Ironman. But I need to be drinking. Hopefully, negotiations will sm smoothen out in the coming days. But... You never know with these politicians, just when you think they're on your side, they're not. And just when you think they're not on your side, they are. It's crazy. This was your stimulus check and second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you. And I appreciate you liking the videos. I really appreciate it when you subscribe. It means the world to me. And thank you so much for watching. And if you made it this far in the video, please leave a comment with your astrolo astrological sign. You know, I watched a movie about this guy that just became like infamous and famous over astrology. And I've always kind of surveyed people, not like I believe in it, but just kind of curiosity. So I'd love to know like what's your sign. And uh, if you want to go on further, what you think that sign means? Like what, do you, what does it mean to you? I'd love to read those comments. I appreciate you. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you.